What's poppin', my loves? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. Happy Tuesday. Let me see. Spirit messages, one through six. You know how we do it. Oh, but before we do it, the monthlies are done. So I have already got those all posted up. If nothing shows up, if you're missing anything, because I know every now and then YouTube or Facebook, it'll be one that's missing. So let me know. Message me. But if not, the monthlies are posted up. I am going to go ahead and start hitting the Libras with their personal readings for this month or these general personal readings for this month. So be prepared for that. I'm going to try to go ahead and maybe pull a couple of out probably tomorrow and Thursday. My birthday is Friday, so I don't know what the hell we're doing Friday. Might be going to Cabo. Maybe staying my ass at home. Might be on the Friday lives with y'all. I have I don't know what exactly is going on with the birthday yet. Normally I don't celebrate it because it's just like a, another day to me. But we will see what's going on. So what is it? Friday I'll be 55. 55. Fun like wine. 55, 55, that don't rhyme, but I'm going to go with it. All right, you guys. So everybody who's been giving me early birthday wishes and everything, I love you. I thank you. Um, you know, gifts, don't even worry about it. You know, if you have a favorite charity that you want to donate to, please donate. You know, love and hope. And then Mambo T has her Patreon for um, the charities for Haiti. So, and they're all on my page um, on Facebook and IG. So if you want to go ahead and do a donation, um, you know, I support Haiti, always support Haiti. So if you can send some change that way for them. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Am I doing it? Kill them with the shoulder, kill them with the shoulders. I think that's all you guys. Let's get into the spirit messages. And first of all, I can't be cute no more. I got to put my glasses on because I'm blind as a bat. So now I have to see. There we go. Mm, Foxy Brown. Foxy T, that's why I'm going to be Foxy T. Foxy T tonight. So let's see. Messages for the people spirit. Any guidance, any messages, anything that they need to hear spirit. Any guidance, any messages, anything that they need to hear. Now, you know how we do this. Could be, oops, could be one card. Could be um, three cards. Could be the whole spread. So definitely get in where you fit in. Not every message is going to resonate. If it does not, don't worry about it. We'll be back next week with more messages. Ah, oh, card number two. What is up, card number two? Some of them are really like falling out. Falling out. Messages for the people, spirit. Messages for the people. Messages, thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Messages for the people. You might need to do what? Uh, uh oh, he might have to go jump in the shower, huh? Hold up, you guys. I got a dig for. All right. What's holding card number five back, Spirit? What is holding card number five back? Oh, let's see. Somebody don't want to see something the way they need to see it, card number five. Card number six. Let's see. Last week it was love, and that was completely different than what y'all normally go for. Normally it's some type of message about a move or spirit or something coming through. Okay, card number six, what's up? Something that y'all need to be patient with. You're trying to rush something and you're not, you are not trying to be patient with whatever it is, card number six. Some of y'all think you're getting a little bit irritated or frustrated because something is moving too slow. Why card number six? Hmm. Let's see. You need to come over here and do that in the uh in the camera. I bet you won't. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Did y'all see that? They saw it all. They got a corner of it. They got a corner of it. All right. Let's get into it. Card number one. Card number one, we have fake friends, sadness, and separation, divorce. So some of y'all, there's a friendship that's going to end. Maybe you thought it was somebody that you was cool with, you was groovy with, whatever it is, it ain't what it is. I feel like for a few of you, you may have somebody that's coming in where you feel like I need to block you or cut ties, or they may even be feeling this. Now, for a few of you, you may be looking at some people a little bit differently. Mercury retrograde, with the communication and scrolling and everything this month, a lot of people have been kind of like, mm, I don't really feel connected to this group, so I'm going to leave this group, or I don't really want to be connected to these people anymore. I don't even want to see their posts, so I'm going to go ahead and block them. I feel for a few of you, though, that this is going to be a painful thing because we got sadness, so this fake friend could have been somebody that you really consider to be a friend, you know, and maybe you're having a hard time walking away from that friendship. You know, it's one of those things where you outgrow people, or people outgrow you and you hate to see it happen. You don't want it to go that way. But sometimes it's just two people. There's a fork in the road and you may go left and they go right or whatever. So I feel like for some, and y'all, I do know my left and my right. I'm just, I'm backwards on here. So before y'all be in my thing talking about you ignorant, you going opposite directions. I'm inverted. So I'm trying to get it right. So for some of you though, I digress. For some of you, I do feel that there is this thing of, I don't want this friendship to end. But there could be something that is found out because we got emotional pain and then we got a walking away from the relationship because of the emotional pain. And it's because maybe there is um, something that you feel like that cannot be fixed. Now, it's a general read. If it's not you, it could be somebody that you're connected to and, you know, they're feeling like, I don't want to salvage this. I don't want to put this back together. Maybe you have tried. If this is a friendship or relationship, you may be holding on to something or maybe somebody's feeling some kind of way because you walked away from them. They could be switching up their energy to card number one, where it's like, okay, you know, I'm feeling some kind of way about you um, walking away or causing me some type of pain. So now I'm seeing you as maybe you weren't the best of friends to me. Maybe I'm seeing you as somebody that I consider fake. So it could have started off where you really felt a connection with somebody. Something um, came out cause the separation. And for a few of you, you may be looking at this person like you never were what I thought you was in the first place. For some of you, you might be seeing the other side of a person and it literally is breaking your heart. It's causing some type of emotional pain and you're feeling like, I got to go ahead and let go of card number one. Card number two, card number two, we got evil eye, but we got spirit protection. Now, evil eye is, you know, literally somebody looking at the page. Can't stand you. You know, I want you to fall down and break your leg or I want you to lose your job or whatever. I want something. I can't stand you so bad that I'm sending out this energy to you so that you, it can do whatever it needs to do. Some of you are dealing with a person that is doing this. Now, General Reed, you can be doing this to a person too. You might be the one that's sending out the evil I have by. Whatever it is, be careful. You know, we saw this, I think, was it last week? In the messages where there was like some work that was done or some spell work or something. And I told you, you need to divine on this. You need to be really careful about what you put out there because some of you could be sending this energy to someone who's protected or they could be doing reversals and the shit is bouncing back on you. So I will say, be really careful. If you are someone that is, you know, you're on social media, get reflective things behind you. So if those people are shooting them daggers at you while you're going live or doing your thing, that all this stuff is being reflected back to the energy. If people are sending you love, then love is going back. If they're sending you some bullshit, then they, you know, they, they ducking and dodging because it's going back to them. A few of you, I definitely feel like you're feeling some type of energy. There may have been some type of uh, spirit of saying situation, situationship. Maybe something come out and made you feel a little bit uncomfortable where you're like, I feel like somebody's doing work on me. They may not be doing something major. I think Sin Moise once said, um, and he puts it in a few of a, a lot of his posts where he's like, not everything you think is spell work is spell work. And that is true. But two, a thought can be a spell. A word spoken can be a spell. So it may not be you're out here dancing under the moon naked and sacrificing bulls and roosters and things like that you could be dealing with an energy where somebody is just really upset with you 
They're sending out a negative energy. General Reed, this could be you. Somebody pissed you off so bad. You know, you found out that they were fake. You found out that the friendship wasn't right. Caused you to separate and divorce or move away from somebody. And for some of you, the evil eye could be on the person who left. It could be on the people that are trying to get away from a group. It could be anything, but it looks like that this person is protected. So if you are feeling the energy of it, call on your ancestors, call on your spirits. They're already telling you. Somebody don't like you. Somebody is trying to send some negative energy your way, but we got your back. We got your back. So a few of you, you're going to be feeling something. It may not be a full hit, but you may be feeling something because it's showing that you have some energy that's coming your way. The spirit is like, look, they're trying to block it and for some of you they're coming through they're coming through really really hard which is really really good it's all right to have your spiritual posse tell your spiritual posse to do what it need to do so we're gonna dance like we in the soul train line we're gonna boom boom pow pow whatever we gotta do spirit i'm with you some of you definitely you're gonna be healing you're gonna be feeling that energy spirit is pushing you out there and it could be because they want you to pay attention to some people around you that are sending you some negative energy. Now, card number three could be somebody trying to make you sick. Could be trying to make you sick. If you are a healer or a spiritual mentor or a spiritual advisor, if you go to people's houses this month and, you know, because of the, the Delta variant and I want to call, I want to say Wu-Tang, but I know that's not what the other variant is. Jordan, Jazz, what's the other variant that they have? Not the Delta variant. Is it, it starts with an M, doesn't it? I, I keep wanting to call it Wu-Tang, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Be careful. Be careful that you are wearing your mask. I know a lot of healers are not getting vax because, of course, they're going holistic. And that's, you know, 100%. Do what feels right to you. I'm not going to sit up there and try to make anybody feel bad to be vaxxed or unvaxxed. I think there's enough of bullshit like that that's floating around. Get in where you fit in with your spirits, with your with your um, health. But I will say that if you are visiting people, if you are trying to take care of people, you need to be really careful. If you are wide open, you, make, you need to make sure that if you're doing something holistically, that you're taking your vitamins, that you're eating the right way, that you're making your immune system strong. Now... You could come across a patient or, or a client or somebody who is going through some type of sickness. Some of you might be called to their house to um, help. I've been doing a lot of spiritual cleanses lately. It's just the energy, I think, for a lot of people. So we've been doing a lot of baths, putting a lot of baths out there, a lot of prayers, putting a lot of people on my healing altar. So, and I think that's the crazy thing where a lot of people think voodoo is just negative, dark and everything like that. Literally, it's healing because you're working with herbs, you're working with nature, you're working with the Lawa. And a lot of times you're trying to bring healing into people's lives. You're not trying to destroy people's lives. So I feel for a few of you, if you are a priest or a priestess in the tradition, or you're just a healer, you could be a doctor or a nurse, pay attention, be careful. Now, for some of you, if you are a healer, there could be a sickness that is coming your way. For some of you, you might have somebody that's trying to bring this illness on. So be really careful. Now, Spirit is saying you're protected. That doesn't mean go out there and, you know, be crazy. You know, you know, if you got to wear your mask, wear your mask. If you need to disinfect, disinfect. If there are certain entities that you are dealing with with certain people and you're not really sure about it, then, you know, go ahead and, and reach out to somebody who knows how to do it. But don't take on anything that you don't feel comfortable with. If you are a healer or a doctor or a nurse, it may be like, just watch your back. Be a little bit more precautious um, or take more precautions when you're dealing with people. If you are somebody who is spiritually taking on entities, you need to go make sure that you're cleansing, that you're taking care of yourself because you could end up getting sick. Some of you might even have a mentor that is sick, that, you know, is coming down with some type of illness or something, and maybe you need to step up or maybe you need to help. But I do feel like that there's a lot of spirit or spirit protection around this person. So if this is you or somebody else that you know, it could be that literally spirit is trying to help them out in the situation. If this is somebody though that's doing some negative work, they could be trying to make you sick or they could be trying to cause some type of issue in your life. You know, don't eat everywhere. Don't, you know, break bread with everybody. Don't leave your personal belongings, especially if you know people who practice. And it could be because we're going into card number, what is this, four? Jealousy. 
You could have somebody that literally is trying to cause some type of anxiety or, de or depression or make you feel some kind of way. Could be trying to attack your mind. I think we saw this last week. I need to go ahead and pull my personal cards. These messages kind of seem like they're repeating. So sometimes that's a message for me. So definitely watch your back if you are a healer. Take your precautions. If you are dealing with spiritual practices, keep your protection and your wards up because you could have somebody that is trying to cause some type of harm or pain to you and it's because of jealousy or they're trying to teach you a lesson card number four card number four we have jealousy you could be feeling something evil energy evil eye energy could be somebody you work with could be somebody in your family could even be a friend or somebody that you thought was a friend but there is some energy of someone trying to cause depression Maybe they are talking about you. They're starting some type of rumor. They're trying to defame your name. They're putting some gossip. And it's causing some type of anxiety or depression um, with you. For some of you, this is general read. You could be the one doing this to somebody else. You could be sitting up there, you know, well, you they ain't no good. They never was no good. They never is going to be no good. You know, like they do in the country. It may be like, it, it, it could just be that somebody is really trying to make you feel uncomfortable. This energy feels like bully energy to me. And I don't like throwing that word around. But I feel like for card number four, either you're a bully or you have somebody who may be trying to bully you. If this is somebody who's jealous of you, they could be trying to turn other people against you or alienate you from the crowd. So be careful of people who are pulling you away from your family. You know, well, you know, your mom is no good. Your dad is no good. Your sister, no good or whatever. You don't need to hang around with them. Now, if you really know these people no good, then that's one thing. But if somebody's trying to make you feel a certain way about somebody that you don't really want to feel or you don't have that energy where you want to, um, you know, walk away from them. I have that big issue of when a friend falls out with another friend and they're like automatically fall out with their friend. And I'm like, well, hold up. Let me give me a minute to see what's going on. It may not be what you said. It may be different than what you're seeing or, or it could even be a misunderstanding. Let me figure it out before I cut ties. And then if you feel like you're on the right end where you have to walk away, then walk away. But I feel for some of you, don't let people push you to the side or make you feel a certain way about somebody because they're not feeling them. I feel that there's some anxiety and it could be somebody making you feel like other people are against you. Could be gossip, could be slander. So I will say, pay attention. Y'all know how I am. Pay attention to people's agenda. What are they saying? What are they doing? What's coming in? I always feel like if there's some type of communication problem, and they telling me that you said so-and-so, I'm going to be in the inbox. What did you say? Let's talk about it. Because sometimes as adults, you can't just go off of what other people say because we got people out there that really are shitty people. So I will say card number four, if you have somebody that's trying to make you feel a certain way, it could be because they're jealous or envious of you. And that's why they maybe you have self-esteem issues or they're trying to attack your self-esteem or your name. I will say, keep your head up, you know, try not to give into it. And if you're somebody who's doing this, don't, you know, come on. This is, it feels like high school energy. I don't like you. So let's, you know, cause problems. It seems like somebody's bullying or I'm jealous of opportunities that you're getting, but I don't want you to have them. So I'm going to cause you to feel a certain way or make you feel uncomfortable or make you have self doubts or, you know, possibly even send you some evil eye energy to give you, you know, give you some anxiety. And it can, it can really do that. So I will say, do some cleanses. For some of you, there could be some, some work that is being done. So I will say definitely watch your back. And it could be because there is a separation or an ending with friendships and there's some type of sadness. Maybe somebody's in their feelings. Could be you and your feelings. Card number five, card number five, we have self-imposed bondage seeing something clearly. Now, self-imposed bondage is literally not spirit fucking you up or, or putting barriers up. It really is you not going through and doing what you need to, not following through. If this has something to do with work or projects or you feeling stuck, you literally can take these blinders off. You can, you know, pull these strings away. For a few of you, you need to take your blinders off and see, because Spirit is saying you need to look at something clearly. Remember what I said about somebody's agenda. Why are they saying what they say? Why are they doing what they do? What are they trying to cause? And it could be we got all these people in the background. So there's some manipulation that's going on. And for some of you, this could be in the workplace because we have groups. 
We have a big number of people. This could be even in a church. This could be in some type of organization or group that you're in. There's manipulation, manipulation, manipulation going on, you guys. Spirit is saying you might need to see something clearly. It, you know, sometimes we get into the habit of, well, I can't do this because this person is standing in my way, or I can't do this because this opportunity is close to me, or, you know, I want to do this, but it's not the right month, or it's too warm outside, or it's raining outside. Spirit is like, come out of your, come out of your own shell. Come out of your own um, issues. If you're holding yourself back, you need to go ahead and look at something, and there is going to be a light bulb moment where it's like, okay, Maybe I, maybe I am the one that's fucked up. Maybe I am the one that needs to get some help. Maybe I'm the one that needs to see something clearly. If there's somebody mad and they're causing some type of separation, are they walking away from me? Maybe it's not completely on this person. Maybe I did something to cause this. So we got to be honest about it. And if it is not you, then it could be that, like you said, there's a, there's a, 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 a some type of, I feel like, I get some type of backlash, but there's excuses with it. So I feel like some of you, you may have some merit in saying that I'm a little bit blocked, but spirit is saying that you literally can pull this stuff down, open your eyes and move forward. So say you're in an abusive relationship. That's not entirely all on you. You know, the abuser has 50% of what they're bringing into that. But if you decide to stay there, Spirit is saying that you need to kind of pull something down and look and see. There's a way out. There's a way to navigate this. I feel like somebody's stuck in a maze. It could be mental because we have some anxiety. We have some depression. Could be somebody trying to attack your self-esteem and make you feel like, oh, you, you can't do this or you're not good enough or it won't work out for you. And maybe you're really taking this to heart. But whatever this is, card number five, I feel like you really are going to go ahead and blast through this. It's almost like I got to shake it off. I feel like there's an energy of I need to go ahead and open my eyes and deal with this. And if the problem is you, you got to deal with you. Sometimes it is. We got to be honest with ourselves, right? Card number six. Card number six, we have fear. We have spiritual cleanse and we have patience. Now, there could be irritation because something is either not moving as fast as you want or it's not moving in the direction you want. And we got something with um, some fear that's coming in. It could be what if somebody I feel like is definitely dealing with an energy of somebody that is bringing in some type of anxiety or there's some type of energy that could be affecting you. Now, this doesn't necessarily, like I say, have to be somebody doing lamp work, candle work, or going to their spirits. This could just be somebody that is making you feel off. Um, maybe you don't like um, the conversations. Maybe you don't like the energy. Maybe you don't like the vibe or you're feeling some kind of way. It could be that maybe you are picking up on somebody's energy the right way. She's a female. She's a female and she just walks around and does disgusting things like that on the camera thing. Yes, you. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. Okay, just go on. Card number six. You could be feeling some kind of way because maybe you're picking up on an energy of a fake friend. There may be some fears about jealousy. There could be some fears about anxiety or depression. Some of you could be dealing with somebody that is sick. There may be some some um, some reason that there is the fear that's coming in. I feel like for some of you, if you're trying to start a business, there may be a fear it's not going to take off. I'm getting an energy of something not being completed. And it's because you could be looking at things differently. Interesting card number six. Maybe spirit opens your eyes to something that you needed to see. And for some of you, this could be something that you have to work on yourself. There may be something about you that, okay, I can't put this on these other people, but maybe this other stuff was the catalyst of why I got to look at me and figure out why I'm feeling my, this way that I'm feeling. For some of you, spiritual cleanse is on top of it. You literally could have picked up some negative energy. Some of you might be dealing with people that are really making you feel some kind of way and you're not really sure how to shake it off. 
I am getting that there's one or two things that are coming in. There could be some energy that is coming your way that is making you or triggering you to deal with some shadow, some shadow work. But we see seeing something clearly. So maybe whatever this energy is, is showing you some things about people around you. Some of you are going to be cutting ties with people because you don't want the energy. Some of you are going to be saying that this energy is not necessarily just from these people, but this is triggering me. Could be something from childhood. But I'm definitely getting that it's bringing something out in you that's making you feel very uncomfortable. And it could be something, too, that you need to deal with. Spiritual cleanse could be a bath. This is also could be trying to talk to someone. we got spiritual mentor over here. So there may be some deeper conversation or something that's coming in, card number six, but I feel like there's a heaviness, especially with the spiritual cleanse. These candles are black. There's a heaviness that's coming in, and some of you may be wondering, when is this going to ease up on me? When is this going to ease up on me? But I feel like that there's some self-work that you need to do. There's something with the light bulb that is going to shine some light on you. If this is cutting ties with people, you got to cut ties. If this is some type of spiritual bath or um, con con a, a potion or a concoction or something that you need to come up with, I feel like that you're going to do it. For a few of you, this literally is some shadow work. This is some shadow work. Why are you scared? Why are you having these this anxiety? It's this energy bringing something out in you that you got to deal with. You know, you have a lot of people online that throw out, oh, I'm going to put a spell on you and I'm going to do this and all that. And, and for a lot of people, this could be really frightening. But then, too, spirit could be saying, because they're protecting, they're like, we got you. But there's something in the energy that you guys may have to deal with this month that is going to be some shadow work. It's going to be some shadow work. If it's not other people being jealous of you, you may have some hidden thing where you're jealous of someone else. This energy could be resonating from you. And for some of you, you may need the spiritual cleanse. The self-imposed bondage, where is she at? This could be like, man, maybe I need to get my shit together. Because I'm sending out, I am the bad vibe. Don't you hate that when you go somewhere and you realize that you the vibe? That's not, you know, the kill joy. You can't blame it on nobody else. You be talking about, man, that event was horrible. I just didn't like it. I didn't talk with the people. It just, it seems like the whole energy was off. And then, you know, you have that good girlfriend or that good guy friend. And it was like, bitch, you was the one that was doing all this. And that could be what this light bulb moment is coming on with this self-imposed bondage. What are you adding to the equation? What do you need to see? So card number five, there's some self-reflection that's going in. But card number six, I also feel too, it may affect you. It may affect you. There may be something that you need to see clearly. For some of you, it's going to be some fake friends. For a few of you, there's something that maybe needs to end that you're holding on to that's holding you back but not completely because you do have some accountability with this too. For some of you, this could be jealousy against you or you feeling jealous against somebody else. And then we have definitely some bad juju in here. Could be floating. I know a lot of people are going through some stuff, you know, not just this week, this month. A lot of people are like, I feel bad. I think that's why I've been doing so many spiritual cleanses because people are like, I don't feel good. I feel heavy. I feel like there's a lot that's on me. So I will say, if that is the case, definitely take your spiritual bath, take your cleanses, meditate, go outside in nature, connect with, you know, the grass, with the earth, you know, do some things that make you feel good. If you're in your house and you're kind of feeling like, I just want to stay in my bed and lay, that's the perfect time to push yourself out. Even if it's just doing some gardening in your yard you know, or taking your pets out and playing with them. Some of you, I feel like that you're going to have to break this energy. Could be some spiritual deep, uh, spiritual cleanses for some. And for a few of you, definitely feels like there could be even some type of therapy or connection, connection with a spiritual mentor. But I do feel sickness is on, coming on too. And it could be, you know, the flu, the cold virus, but I feel there's something that may be making some of you not feel well could be a spiritual attack, but I don't feel like it's hitting you full force. And I don't want to put it out there to where people are afraid, but it could be that you need to just watch your back. Keep your protections up. Pay attention to the people that you're dealing with. Pay attention to the agenda, to things that are coming to you. 
jealousy, how you feel around certain people, because there's something coming in this week that a lot of you are going to be hit with, and it's going to make you feel heavy. And I'm getting you prepared for it. Shake it off. Do your cleanses. Go outside. Cut ties where they need to be cut. All right, my loves? I hope that makes sense to you guys. I love you. Stay groovy.